Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're in the local Jamaican supermarket and let's see what is expensive here. So I'm gonna make a top 10 or maybe top 20 of the groceries that are overpriced in Jamaica and not really affordable. All right, so let's see what's good here and what is really expensive in Jamaica. Alright, so the first of all, I'm gonna show you guys the coffee stand because coffee is expensive in Jamaica. So, this is the Blue Mountain coffee, and like I told you before, you have to pay for the quality. That's why this coffee is very expensive. It's the number one coffee in the world, and most coffee goes to Korea and Japan, and some stays in Jamaica. So, you also can bring it as a souvenir from Jamaica for your family. Trust me, it's the best souvenir ever because it tastes really, really great, but it's costly. So I'm gonna show you the price also. The price for the pack, for this pack is uh, 4,100 something with GCT. Yeah, GCT is a tax, Jamaican tax. And how much in here? Yeah almost 500 gram that's that's a big pack of coffee so here <laughs> let's move to the next one so the next thing that is pretty expensive in Jamaica is a coffee creamer so for the um, almost one liter you will pay 1,000 almost 1,000 Jamaican because this price without GCT plus tax oh and this is the price that you're gonna pay after tax yeah thousand something so here is a creamer and uh, it's almost one liter like I told you this creamer is pretty cheap in America yeah but here in Jamaica not really but also you can buy a smaller pack they are a little bit cheaper but not really 750 for the small one and uh, like I told you in Jamaica it's better to use powdered po uh, crema that comes uh, in a powder so it serves you longer and it costs much cheaper all right guys next thing that is pretty expensive in Jamaica are cereals so for the big pack uh, normal cereals with yogurt and fruit real oat clusters almost here 900 Jamaican and I I think it's a robbery because it's just a park pack of the corn flakes but it's a big pack of corn flakes and here is almost 400 gram yeah it comes in a different flavors so yes you know guys my son he loves fruit and loops with marshmallows and here is a medium size pack it costs 1000 Jamaican dollar and um, it's 300 gram inside next thing cheese cheese is not really cheap in Jamaica also so for the pack uh, 230 gram um two B caps you will pay almost a thousand Jamaican also uh, cheese in the box like that not really cheap so it will cost you but Jamaica got their local cheese plus foreign cheese they cut it they slice it and uh, they sell it like that in a different portions you know they pack it themselves supermarket pack it same uh, same brand of that cheese you can get separated in a smaller pack and it's down there so let's see so that's how it looks in a smaller pack and uh, I think this is the same cheese that they they just um, cut it here it's the same cheese but just a smaller pack so you're gonna pay for it 200 Jamaican so I think it's the best decision when it comes to a foreign cheese it's rather you it's rather you buy that little pack that bigger pack 
and I believe that it will work out for you cheaper. So the next thing that is pretty expensive in Jamaica uh, is salmon. They have two different types of salmon. This first time I see that one. But this is the local brand Rainforest. I saw it before. It's a little thin slice of uh, salmon. You can see it's very thin like hell. And it will cost you 900 Jamaican. Almost 900 Jamaican. It's a smoked salmon. You know guys, I used to love it in Russia. I used to do my sandwiches with it, with my butter and smoked salmon. But here in Jamaica, I haven't bought it yet. And I'm here almost for two years and still. I just, I don't know. I, I will feel bad buying that little tin piece for that money. Trust me. Well, next time when I go to Russia, I probably just eat enough. So here in Jamaica, I will not miss it. All right, so, ooh. Here's the next expect expensive thing here. It's Jabba's. Hmm, Errol never told me that he had, he had a business. Jabba's pepper swims. <laughs> swims instead of shrimps. All right. I have never tried those also. And uh, a little bit of shrimps, pepper shrimps, gonna cost you 1,500. Yes, but uh, seafood is normally expensive no matter where you are leave it's normally expensive so can't really complain because seafood is a seafood if you're in jamaica for your vacation you have to try it and the next thing that will empty your pocket is what is that black forest ham never never tried it but i think it's pretty tasty it looks tasty mm, smells tasty too and you'll pay for for that pack you will pay 1,200 yeah almost 200 so let's say it's 1,200 also they have a sea bee pork chub ham but it's a bigger pack so I would not feel bad paying for that big as piece 1,700 yeah that's a big piece here So let's move to the beef and beef section. Here is a beef frozen section where you can get your beef. And the most expensive item in a beef section is, of course, oxtail. It is imported from uh, Australia. And uh, it will be interesting for you guys to know that uh, back in the days oxtail wasn't uh, an expensive meat and back in the days um, privileged people they never ate it and that was poor people food but today the game changed and look at this that's what you're gonna pay for your oxtail and if, if your family contains two people it will serve you for lunch and uh, dinner and that's it so what y'all think but as for me i believe that it it is better to buy the raw meat like that and cook it yourself than go to the box food shop and get it there get it from them people because they sell one box food for a thousand and sometimes they give you not the best parts in it so here you can choose the parts that you like and grab it cook yourself and it is done hmm. we are here and what is that shrimps this is a seafood section and like i told you guys already seafood in general seafood is not cheap and um, shrimps uh, good fish in jamaica those items are pretty expensive so for cooked shrimps medium size you will pay one thousand four hundred mushrooms they're a little bit cheaper because an extra large pack you can get for one thousand one seventy and i wonder if i can grab it and make some curry shrimps for my husband i love making curry shrimps curry shrimp tastes good yeah just need to grab coconut 
milk and curry it if you're really a shrimp lover you can get a real big shrimp jumbo pack <laughs> but it'll cost you real good so it's almost 3,400 Jamaican I will translate it in dollars also so you guys can compare Jamaican prices to prices where you are prices to the prices in your country yeah seafood and next fish that is very expensive in Jamaica again salmon like I told you guys salmon even frozen fillets and it's not a big pack it's like um, three little pieces of salmon inside and it will cost you 3,000 Jamaican 3,000 So, the cheapest fish, the cheapest fish in Jamaica is bassa. It's a bassa fish, but guys, it's not a real good fish to eat, by the way, because it contains a lot of harmful, <laughs> harmful uh, stuff inside, and it's very harmful for people. So I heard in uh, they mostly bring it from. Vietnam and Vietnamese people they know that it's not a really good quality fish so they sell it for cheap to uh, foreign countries and yeah people buy it but some people eat it and by the way that fish it's um, garbage and uh, that fish it's dead fishes so yeah still your choice to eat it or not because some people they're not that picky so they will not look at that fact but I will not eat that stuff I never buy bassa fillets I'd rather go for butterfish butterfish probably is the same costs almost the same and you can get more in the pack inside and this is a Caribbean butterfish so you know that fish is clean and safe to eat Next item guys, so next item is a premium blend sunflower oil extra virgin olive oil This pack one liter in inside and uh, It will cost you 1000 Jamaican also they have a next oil similar to it, but most of them contain contain olive oil so that is why they are expensive so olive oil in Jamaica is expensive jasmine fragrant scented rice I love personally I would eat jasmine rice if it would not be that expensive I would eat it every day but because it costs big pack like that and uh, it's 12 killers in you will pay for it 5400 Jamaican it's not that cheap but i am sure it will serve you for long but i stick to just normal white rice and my little tip if you want to lose your weight get rid of rice don't eat rice because rice puts you on weight no matter what rice brown rice is better than white rice but still rice is a rice so if you want to cut your fat you have to completely stop eat rice I can do it trust me it's not easy but it is what it is normally we buy grace rice grace white rice long grain white rice uh, almost five kilograms and it will cost ours almost 2,000 that's not really bad but grace is a local brand yeah but it doesn't mean that grace things gonna be very cheap because it's still product of USA so it it is shipped here to Jamaica and Jamaican um, grace company they just they just put it in their pack and they are selling it but it is not made in Jamaica the rice is not made in Jamaica so that's why you can't really get a good quality rice in Jamaica for cheap cheap 
also in Jamaica a really good the vinegar gonna be expensive also this vinegar I used to drink it with my water every morning apple cider vinegar it is from America too and for 500 milliliters you're gonna pay seven thousand uh, seven hundred guys fifty so with this bottle you're gonna get it for you can get it for almost 800 they have bigger packs bigger packs packs there are one liter one liter for a thousand and I believe that it's better to buy bigger packs because it will serve you longer and when you buy bigger packs it works out cheaper so I think for one liter of the apple cider vinegar is not bad this price is not bad so here I would buy that thing but for the small pack for the small pack it's a rubbery I think it's more than 10 already but I will still keep showing you what is costly in Jamaica so for four pieces of strawberries imported from USA you're gonna pay three hundred forty it's only guys four inside and um, you know I think people they buy really rare strawberries here because the, all of them they almost look spoiled and I think when Jamaicans they buy berries from supermarket they buy it when they bake a fancy cake there's no other reason they would buy them because you know when they bake fancy cake they put strawberries and put blueberries but nobody here in Jamaica <laughs> with a right sense will not buy that thing like that so for blueberries a little bit of blueberries guys less than even 100 gram you're gonna pay 400 and kiwi one little two little weak kiwis they look like Ebola got them they cost 300 yo yo big up fruit man on the road because this is a disrespect this is a disrespect 170 for a little slice of pineapple and a little bit of grape yo maga cost and my husband weakness grape he loves grape but grape is not cheap in Jamaica so for red grape you will pay 721 and here is the information it's for almost 400 gram here and green grape is not really cheaper it's not cheaper they are the same the same cost for for green and for a red grape yeah all right guys so we are going to the alcohol section and alcohol is not cheap in Jamaica too but uh, like everywhere alcohol is not cheap so tell me guys if in America this uh, those alcohol drinks they are cheaper have you ever tried something like that? That that bottle looks pretty. The bottle looks on point. I would I would only buy that drink for the bottle because it looks stylish. All right, so for 750 milliliters, you're gonna pay two thousand four hundred. And vines, regular vines, they cost thousand five hundred. Yeah, but guys good wine will never cost cheap so if you want to drink a good wine you have to spread your money and I don't think they sell here in the supermarket in the open section good wine because I think they have some alcohol behind the, the cashier and I think they keep their only good alcohol so here you can see alcohol that is cheaper than behind the counter behind the counter you see down there they keep the expensive alcohol there and here I guess cheaper section but we don't really drink alcohol with my husband 
So guys, I hope you enjoy my video and drop in a comment section what you were surprised with, what prices surprise you and uh, what costs a lot in Jamaica for you. And in your country, the same item would work or cheaper. So thank you again. Like, subscribe and share. Take care guys. Bye bye.